Let us see how to graph this equation y is equal to minus 3 sine pi t over 6 minus 5. So whenever you have pi, they're asking you to draw in, or this is given in radians. So regarding radians, you should be knowing uh, this rule or this formula, 360 degrees is 2 pi rads or radians. Okay. So yeah, the first number is the first. So this is the general formula of any sine graph. A sine bracket bx plus c plus d. So I'm not uh, focusing on, we don't have c here. Yeah? We have a, b, and d. A tells me the amplitude. So don't look at the negative. I'll talk about negative later. So amplitude is 3 here. Yeah? Okay, just like that. Okay, so amplitude is 3. This, the next, uh, uh, we don't have. Okay, so this is C we don't have. So let us not talk about D. C, sorry. Now D is the baseline. Now this number tells me the baseline. So D is negative 5, yeah? So D is negative 5. So this implies your baseline is negative 5. Okay. So I've drawn the axis. This is the y axis and this is the x axis. Say I say this is negative 5. So this is where my sine graph will start. Sine graph always starts at so sine graph always starts at the baseline. Okay. So this is your BL or baseline. Now you in the previous video if you have seen, I gave you a formula which is very easy to remember. This is this uh, gra this is a sine graph of this equation where the amplitude was two there. So this is your amplitude of two here. So and this is this also can be called the amplitude. So this is amplitude. The distance between the baseline and the maximum, or the distance between the baseline and the minimum, is called the amplitude. So maximum, you can use logic, is baseline plus the amplitude okay maximum is baseline which is 5 plus 2 is 7 and minimum is baseline minus amplitude so we that formula is very uh, uh, okay so let me extend okay so yeah I can say maximum is baseline plus amplitude okay so it's always good to write the formula it's simple logic which is minus phi plus amplitude. What is the amplitude? Amplitude is 3, yeah? So amplitude is 3. So minus phi plus 3 is minus 2. And your minimum is baseline minus amplitude. So this will be minus phi minus 3, which is minus 8. So this is your minimum, which is minus 8. And this is your maximum, which is minus 2. And this is your origin, which is at 0. Okay, the next important thing is you have to decide the period. Period can be found by this formula. Period is, in this case, we are talking about, we are talking in terms of degree, sorry, in radians. So that's 2 pi. So period, so let me change color. So period is... 2 pi over b. Now b is the coefficient of the variable. Now the variable is t here. Yeah? So the coefficient is pi by 6. So it's pi by 6. So this is the same as, I don't have space here, this is 12. I'll show this on the calculator. So 2 pi divided by pi by 6 is 12. So menu, so you can go 2 pi divided by shift pi by 6 pi divided by 6 that's 12 okay so or uh, this is same as you don't need a calculator though 2 pi divided by pi by 6 is same as 12 pi divided by pi which is 12 okay so you have a period of 12 so here let us treat what does 12 mean this sine graph has a period of 12 minutes Okay, you can take 12 hours, we don't know, but let's say it's minutes. So there's something, uh, 
something going around which has a period of 12 minutes it can be 12 seconds I don't know so let's say it's 12 minutes so this is your first step second step third step and fourth step okay so you've got a period of 12 whatever that unit is so 12 the half of 12 is 6 and half of 6 is 3 and this is called a scale or a step of 3 so 3 6 9 12 okay now your sine graph sine graph always starts at baseline so this is where your sine graph starts okay so which color is this I want to use yeah that's fine so this is sine starts at baseline now because of this minus if it was plus sine plus 3 suppose if it was say if you didn't have a sign there if it was 3 sine it the sine graph would have gone up but because you got a minus here from baseline it will not go to maximum it will go to it's not it's not exactly so you can understand so this is your it goes to your minima then it comes back to the baseline then reaches the maximum after nine minutes and reaches the baseline so this is one full cycle so every 12 minute this equation repeats itself so if I draw with a different color so let me use which color okay let me use black okay so the sine graph would look like this and that's fine okay now this is called this is the graph of this equation so we need to check this on a calculator so the first thing that I'll do it will go to graph and type in the equation okay let me delete it let me type in again so minus minus 3 sine bracket you go shift pi x okay t is same as x the variable is t the x there divide by 6 minus 5 now before I graph it I have to check whether it's in radians okay it's already in radians I think so uh, but it's always good so shift setup go to setup and check because you're working in radians so your calculator has to be set on radius that's the first check that you need to do the next is you have to have an appropriate scale so on x-axis we want from 0 to 12 so you go shift window so 0 to 12 that's the scale that's fine and you got a scale of 3 can you see the scale of 3 don't change the dot your x minimum I've gone from minus 10 to maximum 2 scale of 2 so this is it somewhere 2 and then let us draw it can you see this is starts at baseline goes hits the minimum maximum and to check that is only check the minimum and the maximum okay so you go g sol maximum that's at after nine minutes your y value is negative two again g sol minimum uh, after three minutes you have the minimum of minus eight now if you want if you want to do two cycles here yeah, what you have to do is shift v window so if one cycle is 12 minutes two cycles will be 24 minutes just to show you that in 24 minutes you'll have two cycles so this is one cycle up to here and this is the second cycle I'll do examples of course graph in the next video see you in the next video